With the release of Fallout 4 on the horizon, it's the perfect opportunity to look back at the earlier games in the franchise. Fun fact! People born on the day Fallout 1 was released on September 30th, 1997 will be turning 18 this month! Happy birthday! While the rest of us are feeling older by the minute, let's bust out our flannel shirts, torn jeans, Pulp Fiction posters, and take a look back into the magical world of the 90s to dig around for some hidden history. Aside from questionable taste in sneakers and hairstyles, the 90s is often remembered for its music, most of which was tragic, just utterly tragic. Luckily for us though, the development teams at Interplay and Bethesda were a bunch of weirdos who were into weirdo music, and they left evidence everywhere. Like this picture here, which can be found as a poster in Fallout and Fallout 2, which is a slightly altered version of this. A photo of Maynard James Keenan, the lead singer of Tool, and incidentally, a photo from the album liner of Undertow. In Fallout 2, tanker vagrants could be heard saying, In fact, I would rather die than give you control. This is most definitely a reference to the song Head Like a Hole by Nine Inch Nails. Or what about the phrase first mistake, last mistake, which can be heard from raiders in the Fallout 3 DLC The Pit? Well, that's a line taken straight from Holy Wars, a song by Megadeth in their 1990 album Rust in Peace. War never changes in the Fallout universe, so it's no surprise to learn that there are quite a few references to war movies throughout the franchise. Saving Private Ryan is a movie your dad likes about a mission to rescue the genitals of a man named Ryan. Okay, cut me some slack. I haven't seen the movie since it came out on VHS. Anyway, when you talk to the Brotherhood of Steel Knight, Captain Dusk, and ask her what she does for a living, she says, Put any mutie bastard within one mile of me and my rifle and, well, pack it up troops, fight's over. This is a reference to a line from Saving Private Ryan. Well, except the mutie part. They say Adolf Hitler instead. No super mutants in World War II, unfortunately. Oh, and here's a pro tip. If you ever want to sound like a complete and total badass while stuff's going down, just shout to all your friends, Come on, you apes! Do you want to live forever? This is a line from Robert Heinlein's Starship Troopers, both the movie and the book, and can be heard by Brotherhood of Steel soldiers in Fallout 3. Um, actually, Austin, the book Starship Troopers was published in 1959. Yeah, well, make your own YouTube channel and complain about it. Crap, we're running out of time. Okay, hidden history lightning round, go! Junkies in Fallout 2, high on jet, reference the song Fly by Sugar Ray, saying, I just want to fly. Put your arms around me, baby. Put your arms around me, baby. Do not listen to the song. It will get stuck in your head all week, and it is also bad. Next! When talking to Mara McCready in Little Lamplight, there's a speech option to say, The day I showed up here is the best day of your life. For me, it was Tuesday. This is a reference to Street Fighter the movie. It's so bad, don't watch it next! Jerry the Punk, found in Red Rock Canyon in Fallout New Vegas, can be heard trying to compose a poem, saying, What rhymes with indulgent? Effulgent? No, wait, that's terrible. This is a reference to a poem written by Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. You should watch the show if you haven't yet. It's great. Next! John Cassidy from Fallout 2 makes a reference to the Final Fantasy franchise by saying, Wish I had a limit break. Limit breaks are a mechanic from Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9, and maybe 6 too, but I don't remember. Next! The Professional is a movie about a simple and innocent hitman named Leon, and the perk from New Vegas is a reference to this. Just look at the photos! Also watch the movie Gary Oldman is terrifying. Next! <laughs> N next? I said, I said, oh, I ran through all the good ones. Um, okay, uh, I guess now's a good time to showcase our new segment, Viewer's Choice Showcase. That's right, Viewer's Choice is no longer an episode you have to anxiously await once every few weeks. Now it's a weekly segment where we'll highlight some hidden history given to us by you lovely people. This week, Hatake Kakashi brings us a nice observation about the courier from New Vegas, believing him or her to be based off the protagonist of The Postman, a book and movie that takes place in the rugged post-apocalyptic hellscape of 2013. Right. Both characters are responsible for delivering packages in the wasteland. Early concept art from New Vegas shows off a version of the courier who really looks similar to Kevin Costner's portrayal in the 1997 movie adaptation. Also, the main villain of The Postman is a dictatorial general named Bethlehem, who is not altogether dissimilar to Caesar. Heck, even the Hoover Dam makes an appearance. Which brings us to our bad comment showcase, where this week we have a comment from Mario Kins, who has just one question. How do I get into the bad comment section? I've got great news for you, man! You made it! Please collect your prize at the non-existent door! You thought you knew Fallout, but hopefully you learned just a thing or two more. Do you know any other historical or literary references we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below, and we might include it in next week's episode! If you like this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe! No, seriously, do it! 
I'm gonna be giving away two Fallout Shelter lunchbox codes, each of which is good for five lunchboxes each. And all you have to do is subscribe to our channel and leave a comment below telling me what other games you really wanna see us do a Hidden History episode on.